Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn GCP with Mahesh. Today we'll try to demystify which GCP certification you should take based on your current skill set and what you want to upgrade yourself. Let's try to look into this video. So when it comes to GCP certification, you may know there are lots of professional certification and only one associate uh, certification. Now first, what should be the one which you should take? First, before I go into that, let me explain all the various certification which Google has. So I'll go through like a flow which you can understand and then I'll try to put a summary sheet or a cheat sheet which can help you based on your skill set, which one would suit you. So the first thing, right, when it comes to cloud, what is the most important thing one should do when it comes to a uh, cloud architecture. So designing and planning the architecture is the most important thing, right? So that is the first activity anybody will do in any infrastructure, be it on-prem or cloud. So planning and designing is the, the most thing. Who can do that? Definitely an architect will do that. So that's where professional cloud architect certification comes into picture. Now you have designed it, you have planned it very well. Now you need to go into the execution mode. So for this, because it's cloud, uh, one thing with, when it comes to cloud is networking is an important concept. So usually I use this word or a phrase without networking, there's no cloud. So how well you uh, design your networking makes very, very important. So this network design can be done effectively by a professional cloud network engineer. Good. So we have planned it using the cloud architect. Now we have designed the foundation using a network engineer. What next? The most important thing after these thing is security because uh, you should not try to bake in the security after the entire solution is done. It should not be in your nuts and bolts, but it should be in the DNA of the system. So if you want to have that, you need to have the best practices of security to be placed in the beginning of the design itself. So that's where a, a professional cloud security engineer comes into picture. Now the foundation is very, very strong. Now the next step, the reason why most of the organization move to cloud is they want to have some kind of uh, optimized ETL process, some optimized pipelines and to be more robust in the current scenario, they have to have some kind of AI capability. So to have a ETL, to build an ETL pipeline, uh, AI based system, you definitely need to have a data engineer. So that's where professional date cloud data engineer comes into picture. Now, good using the infrastructure, using the best practice of networking and security. And with the skills of a data engineer, we have built everything. What next? If you just have the AI, which is a backend system, the ETL is a backend system. There should be some user interface, an application, a mobile app. That's where the end user can consume your uh, solution, right? That's where app development comes into picture. So that's where a professional cloud developer comes into picture. So this is where that certification comes into picture. So far, we have completed our entire development using uh, the application development, the AI based system, everything is developed, even the network and security engineering, uh, security stuffs are in place. Now you should operationalize it. You should productionize the system. So who can do that? Definitely a DevOps guy can do that, right? So when you want to have some operationalization or productionization of the system, you need to have, uh, you need to rely on a, a professional cloud DevOps engineer who can do things to the greatest efficient way. So that's where you need it. Now it's operationalized, everything is in production. What next? You need to keep monitoring your stuffs, whether things are in fine or everything is going as per plan. So that's where some support and monitoring is required. So that's where associate cloud engineer comes into picture. Now this, this is the entire flow. These are the, the major certifications which is available in GCP. I have tried to create a flow out of those things so that it can help you. So this is the flow which I have tried to figure it out. And this is totally based on my understanding. Now, usually right uh, in my YouTube channel and in my LinkedIn, many people try to ask me which certification I should take. 
and since uh, AWS is started the certification very long back, they have two different kinds of levels, associate level and professional level. So for every certification, most of the certification, like if it's like cloud architect, right? They have associate cloud architect and professional cloud architect. So they have two different levels there. And I guess recently I heard also that uh, uh, previously, actually, uh, to clear your professional cloud architect, you need to be an associate. Then you can only become take a cloud professional cloud architect certification in AWS. That's what was the rule. Now they have uh, relaxed that. So if you have good experience in as a cloud architect, you can directly take professional cloud architect certification in AWS is what I heard. Now with that understanding, right? Many people get confused in GCP. Okay, I have started my journey in GCP. Maybe I should start my uh, first certification as associate one. No, that is not the thing here. That is the whole reason of me putting this uh, video itself. So associate cloud engineer, this is for definitely the level is associate, but you should not always aim at starting your career as an associate cloud engineer. Based on what you uh, prefer, what is your current skill set, you can go for any of the professional certification also. That is the main message which I wanted to convey here. And based on this uh, flow, right? If you see the most important thing which you can think, what could be the most important certification which you feel? If you want to think, just pause the video and think about it. And if you have got it, good. And uh, there's no uh, right or wrong answer here. And it is truly based on my understanding is what I feel. The most important certification which everyone should know or which everyone should plan is a professional cloud architect. The reason is this is where the planning and designing comes into picture. And a cloud architect should know every products or every services and components in GCP. That's very, very important. That's the reason why this certification is very, very popular. And it's not me saying that. There are other services also which says that. Let me show you one. So this is the survey which I was just looking into and uh, and I'll put this link in the description if you want. You can just look into it. The top 15 top paying uh, IT certification in 2020 and this article was published in the month of February uh, 2020. And if you look into it, it's the cloud architect certification. I guess this survey is taken based on US data. Uh, but I guess this should be applicable for other countries also to some extent. So uh, my understanding is the same and this the people who have taken this survey, their understanding is also say that same which indicates that professional cloud architect is the highest paid uh, certification and it is very important. Why it is important? The flow makes it very, very clear. This entire flow makes it very clear. The entry point to Google Cloud is if you are a cloud architect, you know the ins and outs, the infrastructure, what is the, the backend component, everything you'll be aware. Then when you design the entire thing, there are specialized people who will come and try to implement it. So that is the key part here. Now, this is what I wanted to show. Now, based on your skill set, which one should you take? So I'm not emphasizing you should directly go with cloud architect. But if say, for example, if you come from an application development background, I would say, Cloud developer is a good choice. Go for it. So that's the thing. So I just wanted to put that summary or a cheat sheet, which I have tried to create based on the official page, uh, which you can get in uh, Google. So if you are a cloud architect, uh, what are the basic things which you would have definitely do? So planning and designing is what you do basically to build a robust uh, solution which can help derive business value. That is a key part. And what are the target audience? Who are the target audience there? If you are already from an infrastructure background or you have worked as an enterprise architect, this should be a good one. And the biggest advantage of this uh, certification is you don't need to have a programming skill set because architects never code. That is my understanding. So you don't need to have a, a programming skill set. But if you have, right, that's definitely a value add. So that is an important thing. As a cloud architect, you should also know what components interact with which component, like what should be the interaction. So it should be like something, for example, PubSub. After PubSub, 
data flow can come into picture from data flow you can have big query what should be the sequence of ordering of the components which components can interact with which component that is something which you should be aware because that helps you to design a robust solution so that's a key thing there and the most important highlight is no programming skill set or coding skill set is required for a cloud architect moving on to the network engineer so this is suitable for people who are well versed with the networking concepts where they know what is a vpn what is a bgp border gateway protocol how it interacts all those things if you are aware i would say directly go for this certification uh, the target audience are enterprise network and infrastructure engineers so for them it could be a really a good certification to upscale them or upscale them to uh, cloud that's a good option similarly for security engineers so if you have implemented a secure infrastructure on prem and you want to upgrade your skill set to cloud this could be a good choice and good exposure to security is very very important and you see a slight uh, connect between network engineer and security engineer because uh, if you are planning to become a security engineer you need to make sure the network is very secure so there's a good connect actually and that's the reason why i also did the same approach so first i took my network engineer certification then followed by i took my uh, security engineer certification there's a connect between both the certification now if it's more towards uh, ai machine learning all those things that's where data engineer comes into picture who can operationalize build secure uh, a data processing system so here the most important thing is your programming skill set is very very important so whenever it is data engineer or data scientist right the the popular language is python so if you have a good exposure towards python etl all those stuffs this certification will help you uh, to expedite into cloud so specifically in gcp so programming skill set is very very important that too in python will help you to learn the concepts much faster coming to the cloud developer this is basically for web application developer like full stack developer so if you have exposure towards that and you want to get into gcp this could be a good certification so if you are good at building node js applications uh, uh, react js kinds of application full stack application you can go for this certification and if you are already doing devops related activity in on prem using jenkins terraform all those things uh, professional cloud devops engineering is a good choice and the last one is if you are currently doing like an l1 support kind of a person and uh, you are mostly like a support engineer where you help to deploy applications uh, manage it monitor it then uh, associate cloud engineer is a good choice so these are the things which i wanted to show uh, a map and based on what's your current skill set and you where you want to head uh, is what i wanted to share today Hope the video is helpful. Thank you for watching.